welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristana and I'm the owner and creator of Bella Renovari by Kristana. So today what I'm gonna do is show you how to blend the side of a piece. Okay, so first I've put a base coat down of paint blue. And so the next step is to do another coat. But this is gonna be kind of like a radial blending. If you think of like gradient, like if you're in Photoshop or you're in Canva or you're in something like that and you can pick certain icons and it's a gradient, AKA ombre, but this is gonna be like a center gradient, okay? So it's gonna be light and go out to dark. I know that there's quite a few people who have asked, they've seen the front. So this is the front of the piece and the front of it is blended. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is the front of the piece. The front of the piece is nice and blended, and sometimes that's easier. You've got the pieces, but then there's people that ask, well, how do I blend the side of this piece? Sometimes it's harder to blend just a flat piece. So I am gonna blend this for you and show you exactly how to do it, and hopefully this will help you a little bit when you're blending the sides, or if you've got a piece that is really flat and you're trying to blend the front, or if you just wanna learn how to do kind of like a gradient, uh, like a circular gradient. Look. Okay, the first thing I want to do is give you a supply list. So I'm gonna have a mister bottle and then I'm actually going to have a different paintbrush for each color that we're using and then I'm also gonna have a neutral brush, okay? And I'm gonna be using Haint Blue by Dixie Belle. I'm also gonna be using In the Navy by Dixie Belle and I'm gonna also have Bunker Hill Blue by Dixie Belle. I will also have some paper towels or a um, old rag to kind of wipe things off with. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing this, but those are the supplies you need. Um, you can use any colors you want, but these are the colors we're using. On okay, so like I said, I have already put one base coat down of the Haint Blue. So we're gonna put a second coat of the Haint Blue down. Okay, so now that we've put our second coat of paint blue, it's still wet, we're gonna go in with the Bunker Hill Blue. So what I'm gonna do is take my Bunker Hill Blue and I'm going to actually mist this a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna dip it in the Bunker Hill Blue and I'm actually just gonna go around in a circle, okay? Get a little bit more and go around in a circle. So once I've gone around in my circle like this, I'm actually gonna go in just every which way. This part, you gotta trust the process. It's gonna be ugly before it gets pretty. So I did the circle and now I'm just gonna go across it and just take that brush and kind of just go horizontal. And go up here, go vertical. Okay. Now we're going to spray it one more time. Just trying to kind of smooth out these areas a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna take more Bunker Hill Blue, okay? But we're gonna wipe this off because it has taken on a lot of the heat blue. So we're gonna wipe this off. You can actually get this, well, you can get this a little bit wet. Off. Okay. So we're going to spray this again and we're going to dip it in the Bunker Hill Blue one more time and we're going to go around these edges. So we're going to start over here on this side, take our Bunker Hill Blue and every which way when I'm doing this. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna smooth it out. As you can see it's starting to kind of blend, okay? So we're gonna continue doing that all the way around. We're gonna do what I just did all the way around the edges. So 
Now I've gone around the entire thing and next thing I'm gonna do to kind of, what I wanna do is I don't wanna get it too out of control. I wanna keep it blended the entire time. So we're gonna fix it up just a little bit before we start adding a little bit more of the highlighting and shading to it. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and set that aside. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my neutral brush that I'm not using with any other paint and I'm going to squirt it like this. And I'm just gonna kind of go vertical, I'm gonna go horizontal, I'm gonna go diagonal. And what this is doing is it is blending this in even more. Now, if you like the way this looks, you can stop here, okay? This looks pretty nice. I know sometimes on camera it doesn't look as, uh, it, it looks a little bit different on camera, but this will help you blend some of that and get you a nice, pretty side to it. But now, if you see, my leg right here is dark, it's in the navy, and it's not matching. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna set my neutral brush down, and I'm gonna clean it off, and I'm gonna pull out my in the navy, okay? So I'm gonna pull out my in the navy, I'm gonna pull out another brush for that. We're going to mist that area and I'm going to blend this in and I'm gonna start shading around the edges so that we get that radial look. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit, I'm not gonna put a ton, and I'm just gonna lightly go over this. And we're gonna just blend those colors right in. Get more, blend those colors right in. And I can actually go over this. So like once this part right here is blended, if I want this a little bit darker, I can take this rag and I can dip it in there and I can go right down to the bottom right here and make sure that I have more of that in the navy, it's darker. And then after it dries, you can always go back later and kind of spot fix. Like if there was like a lighter part down here, you could take your in the navy and kind of fix it up. So it's not, too difficult, especially when you're using light colors. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to shade around the edges. And so what we're gonna do is the same thing we did with our Bunker Hill Blue, but we're gonna do it with the In the Navy, okay? Same exact process, but I'm gonna do it a little bit further out. So I'm not gonna go and do it all right here. I'm actually going to work more around the edges so it's a shading versus how I did the Bunker Hill Blue. I did a lot more and I even went into the middle with the Bunker Hill Blue. I'm gonna to try to focus more on the edges, but I'm gonna do the same thing, just more on the outside. So, and you're always gonna to wanna to liberally use your spray to, it helps it so that you, it's just water in here, and it helps it so that it blends a little bit better. Better, It goes smooth, more smooth together. So, we're going to work around the edges and you're just gonna go vertical and horizontal and kind of just, like I said, do the same thing that you did. Don't be afraid because we're gonna clean this up in a little bit. So you see how it's darker around this edge. So this is kind of like a shading effect. Doing some shading effect. Put a little bit more of that in the navy on there. And I'm just gonna repeat this process all the way around and then I'll show you how we're going to kind of clean it up. So we're gonna do this all the way around. Okay, so we have shaded the outside with the in the navy, okay? And if you saw, I stayed around the edges. So now what we're gonna do is do the same thing that I did with the Bunker Hill. I'm actually going to try to work my way towards the end of the in the navy and into right here, okay? So what we're doing is we're doing kind of a gradual, the reason why we're doing that is so that it can be darker into lighter, okay? So we're gonna do, the Bunker Hill Blue going right here. So again, you're gonna spray your piece and we're going to go around in a circle again with your Bunker Hill Blue. So you want in a circle, get a little bit more on there. Don't glop it on, okay? You can always add more, but it's harder to take it off. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do with this, now that we've done this, you can go across like that, it's no big deal. Now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to go up into this in the navy, and we're gonna go, do you see how we're blending right here? So we're gonna try to blend right there, and we're gonna try to blend right here, and you can go down a little bit into that in the navy. You can do vertical, don't be afraid to go different different directions. So you can go vertical, you can go horizontal. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna start blending these together. Again, use enough water that it helps these paints move fluidly together. Because if you're not, if it's not damp enough, if, it, if this paint is not moist enough, it is not gonna move fluidly together. It's gonna start just pulling. And it's not gonna wanna blend. So again, see we're going horizontal, or yeah, horizontal, and then you can go vertical, okay? And then we're gonna work on this side right here. Okay, now, even though we did the center, let me loose. Okay, so you can see that it's darker to lighter, right? Our next step with this, remember earlier I said that we wanna keep it blended. We don't wanna to have to go back and fix a total unblended mess. So throughout this process, we're going to blend everything together with our neutral brush while we're blending color. So hopefully that makes sense. So what we're gonna do is mist it a little bit. We're gonna take our neutral brush that we have and we're just going to go horizontal, what this is doing is, is it's smoothing out these colors. It's almost kind of like a magic eraser. So we did horizontal, we're gonna go vertical, okay? And you can see when you're doing this, and you can go diagonal, diagonal helps kind of get these colors cohesive. So when you do this, you can see how it is softening up these areas and Right here, you can see there's a little bit darker being pulled. That's okay, just go horizontal, and boom, it's gone. So that's what we're doing here, we're blending those. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to work on the center. So this is not blended very well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to mix a little bit, we're gonna tap a little bit of that paint blue right here in the center. Okay, we're gonna tap a little bit of it right there in the center. Okay, so now that we've put that, a little bit of that in the center, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take our Bunker Hill Blue and we're going to go around it. I'm always going around things. Okay, and then we're going to spray it and we're going to do our best to blend these together. What this has done is kind of darkened it up a little bit. That center. Blending and blending. Going every which way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that neutral brush again and we're going to dampen it. Vertical. Horizontal. your brush catching you need more water if it's not gliding smooth like this I it caught right down here so that's why I needed more water I'm going to wipe this off and just a little bit more water and go vertical And right there, you can see how it's lighter in the center and it comes out darker. And that is how I blend my sides. Um, sometimes the light makes it look a little bit different. I don't know if I can move that light and you can see it. It's definitely a lot softer than it was and you can definitely see that it's lighter out into dark. And so that's how I do it. It's the key is to just work the paint, have your neutral brush, keep it blended 
throughout the blending process so that you're not going back and trying to blend something that was three layers back. So hopefully that makes sense. So this is how I blend my sides. I'm gonna show you really quick how I'm gonna fix this bottom here. I'm gonna fix the bottom a little bit. I like how this is blended, but I want that to be darker. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean this brush off really quick. I'm gonna spray this brush so it doesn't have the light color on it. Okay, now I'm going to just start down here. Do my in the navy. You kind of just work it so that it's a little bit darker down here. And voila, it's fixed. It's dark and it goes up a little bit. It's kind of light, mixed dark around. It's got some of that bunker hill blue and in the center it's lighter. So that is how I blend the side of my pieces. Hopefully that is helpful and I will have all the products listed in the description below. Also, um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you get all the latest videos and information. I also have a blog if you are more of a, you need to see it written out. I have a blog with pictures and things like that. I'll also put that in the description below. So also I'm going to put a link with how you can purchase all the products. It is an affiliate link, but you don't have to pay anything. It's just when you order it, it I get a little bit of kickback, but it doesn't charge you anything extra. So it's just kind of like a little thank you. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. This will be helpful for you on sides of pieces and for fronts of pieces. And again, you're going to use the same concept with any other colors that you use. You just want to use um, three to four like colors that are in the same category. So what I did is I used darker, uh, like a dark, dark blue, a medium blue, and then a light blue. So. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome day.